today I'm going to show you how to control all WordPress from a WP admin that means you have a train website you will be able to control train website from one admin so first you need to select a master domain and then you will need to log in on your master domain I'm going to log in my master domain after you log in your master domain you need to go the plugins add a new plugin and then you need to search this plugin main WP and now I'm going to install this plugin so this site will be master website I will control all other website that means I will control all child website from this admin I'm going to active this plugin I have already active this plugin now I will get a dashboard with this facility all control in a WP admin and one click backup edit update delete anything whatever I want I can do it myself from this master admin so this is my master admin at uh, website now I need to add my child website uh, I have already logged in in my child website also you need to active another plugin on your child website login your child website select plugin and then add new plugin and search this main WP and you need to active WP main child because this is child website so I am going to active this child website and now active the plugin So uh, here I will generate an authentication email. This is my uh, child theme dashboard. I'm going to make it exciting. I will activate here a security key, unique security key. Okay, this is my unique security. Okay, now I'm going to copy my child domain name. I will check it from my master domain okay this is master domain I'm going to put the child domain name and site URL I will be site URL okay now I need to know administrator name so I am going to show to find out my administrator name okay uh, there are a lot of administrator I am going to put here administrator name okay this is my uh, administrator username for this website this is my administrator username for this child website I'm going to put it in master website so what I did here I have just put here my uh, site name child website name child website URL and child website administrator username and now I am going to check uh, oh another issue I need to child unique security key that I just I have generated this is my child security key I'm going to put it and this uh, yeah the child security ID okay and then add new site Wait for this message here is showing adding site to main WP okay so you see the site is successfully added so uh, now my child website is successfully added I can take backup from here I can synchronize data and I can go admin also now this website now this website is under control this website that means child website this child website is under control 
the master website now I'm going to add a post I'm going to log out from here okay so uh, log out this is my website okay I'm going to add a new post I'm going to add a new post on this website now I'm going to my uh, I'm going to my manage section manage section I'm going to post manage Uh, here I can add post publish status all status here is available so now add a new post this is the new post name test here will be a description I'm going to publish this post on ajkirgoindashangbat.com that means I'm going to publish it here so I just have done I have done this I'm going to add a fake image um, okay okay I'm going to add this image this image okay done I'm going to publish this Okay, I'm going to refresh the child website. Did you see? Let's come here. This is my new post. So same thing for page, for post, for plugin, whatever you want, you can control everything from here. Even you can uh, add user, you can um, active plugin, you can active theme, you can active uh, add page so all website will be controlled from this master website so how many website you want you can add as a child website and there will be only one master website and you will control all things from your master website thank you